law of attraction doesn't behave like you want your mother to oh you feel bad here this will make you feel better law of attraction says oh that makes you feel bad here's some more <laughs> you say well then law of attraction may not be my friend we say your best friend because law of attraction is bringing you how you're feeling showing it to you so you can make choices this sucks this feels awful how can I feel differently than this and that's what we're going to be talking about here today how can you gain control of the way you feel in this situation and this one and this one and this one we'll give you a little hint it's about self-soothing it's about being kinder to yourself because if you would see yourself like that two or three or four year old that you're wanting to control because clearly they're out of control they're so happy all the time and irresponsible and they throw fits when they don't feel good so if you could treat yourself like that one if you could treat yourself like that what would you do you see a little one trying to learn how to walk not very good at it unstable over he goes get up you little dummy don't you see the rest of us walking upright you're not a dog you're not a cat get up get up you little dummy you don't do that why not why not because first of all you understand that you are where you are and next of all you understand that hmm, with focus there is learning and with trying there is change in behavior and so might be helpful if you would think about those that you feel most like encouraging who are they who do you feel most like encouraging is it those new ones that haven't yet shown their failure or their stupidity in other words this person deserves my help because this person is new to all of this or do you or do you want to uplift everyone are you a soother to most if you saw someone in the street bleeding we believe you would help them but when you see someone negatively expressing you sort of want to scold them into better behavior and that's sort of what you do to yourself you sometimes try to scold yourself into better vibration and we thought it would be a really good thing to start this new year out when you're thinking more about who you are and where you are and where you're going and what you want if you could just take this one piece from this gathering that you want to soothe yourself into alignment by pointing out to yourself how well you are doing how much is going well and it is our promise to you that you can get hold of little pieces of that all through the day and law of attraction will say oh here's more here's a little more of that when you soothe yourself and accomplish the soothing law of attraction will say here's more of that the universe the universe agrees with you there and there and there and there and there until it won't be long 30 days is certainly enough that you'll be walking around feeling like the most blessed being because everywhere you turn someone something some circumstance or event or some other person some coincidence some coming together some collective co-creation will occur and you will be the center of it the object of it the recipient of something that feels really good to you and in the beginning it might just be an uplifted heart it might be a new idea that just feels really good it might be a comment from someone unexpected it might be a smile from a stranger across the way it might be a telephone call it might be a winning lottery number it depends upon what you want and where you are but it is our promise to you that if you will begin to tend to the frequency of that which is you since you equal your point of attraction and you will be aware I felt this way and this came back I felt this way and this came back I felt this way and this came back before you know it you will be one who whether you deliberately and often feel on purpose you will know for sure that how you feel is your indicator of what's coming next 
So can you fast forward into the manifestation of those things, that abundance that you often see way down the road? Because that kind of abundance doesn't come to a youngster like me, or that kind of abundance doesn't come to someone in an occupation like I have. That kind of abundance, if you can get yourself to begin to expect that kind of abundance that we promise you is out there, and we say out there not because it's out there far into the future, we say it's out there vibrationally, not yet received by you a different frequency than the frequency you commonly are offering but you can begin doing something about that right now and the evidence of the change of your frequency will be evident right now so then you begin getting pretty sure of yourself you say I am the creator of my own reality and others will say get away from me <laughs> You say, I am the creator of my own reality because I am the thinker of my thoughts. But more important, I am the feeler of my feelings. I am the discerner of my frequency. I am the molder of my own vibrational clay. I am the offerer of the energy and therefore I'm the setter of the tone. I'm the setter of the mood. I'm the emanator of the vibrational signal that law of attraction is responding to. And I have created a nest egg for myself of relationships and of abundance and of physical vitality and well-being. I've created a nest egg for myself that is a vibrational reality. And I'm going to practice the vibrational reality of it, even though there is an absence of manifested reality of it. But I do not confuse myself about what's really going on here because I accept that law of attraction abounds and that I am a worthy being and that I'm the creator of my own reality and that I can do something about it and I like the feeling of thinking on purpose and most of all I like to think and derive results you see that's who you are that's why you are so action oriented in most cases you like the fast results that you get through action but we want you to not only get the fast results that you get through action, we want you to get the leveraged fast results that you get through aligned action, through inspired action, you see. We want you to tend to your feelings first. Practice them all day, every day. Hang out with others that do the same. And then begin watching. Not so much for the manifestation. You see, this is the tricky part. Because it sounds like we're saying, if you do these non-manifestational things, manifestation will happen. And then you can look at the manifestation and it just gets better from there. But we don't ever want you to be hooked on the manifestation. We want you to be hooked on the feeling. The feeling that you can foster right here, right now. One day, not very long ago, Jerry and Esther were standing in a funny little old shack of a ranch house that they had rented in Texas. And it didn't cost much, and there was a reason for it. <laughs> there wasn't anything about it that wasn't tacky. And one day, Esther was talking to us about renting this house. They, were, they just wanted to be in the area. Their place now is right in the vicinity, and they were trying to get a vibe for the area. So they thought if they could just set themselves down so they could feel what it felt like, that it would be a good way to get the juices flowing, and it was. But one day, Esther was lamenting the fact that they had not yet found their permanent place. And she was complaining about not owning this place. And we said to her, we don't see anybody else camping on the lawn or beating on the door saying to you, we want to come in here and live with you. We want to take claim of this. We think you should accept it as your nest for now. And there was a shifting in Esther's vibration at that moment as she realized that she could look at the tackiness of it. We won't send you pictures. <laughs> or she could focus upon the well-being of it. She could focus upon all the reasons that they were right there. She could let it be, in all of its not beautifulness, she could let it be the reason that things didn't get better or the reason that things did get better. In other words, you are right where you are. You are where you are. That's profound. Write that down. I am where I am. I am where I am. I am where I am. And what is the vibration that is emanating from me right now? Because I am where I am. But where I will be very soon is a result of the vibration that I'm offering right now where I am that I am, where I am that I am. You follow? 
You don't have memory that is hindering you. Your brain is not a storage cabinet. You have vibrational triggers that you emanate that attract other things. So the world that you live is new right now, 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 new right now. And you get a little run of vibration going on. Manifestations are going to follow. And we acknowledge that as manifestations that please you follow, that it's abundantly easier to focus upon something that please you and leapfrog into more that pleases you. We acknowledge that. We just want you to know that you are never going to be standing in a place where everything's exactly the way you think you want it to be. And if you will give up right now the need for it to be just the way you want it to be so that you can feel good and instead decide that feeling good is all that matters and that you have the ability to feel good even if you're standing in a place where there's not a, not, not a lot of physical evidence of the good feeling that you want, if you will use the power of your mind, then <laughs> we like it so much. <laughs> someone called out the word then you will experience the freedom that you think the dollars will bring you we've enjoyed this interaction immensely we always like it best when you are patient enough to allow us a rampage of vibrational reality when you will listen as you are with intenseness as we express to you the law basis of this universe. Because when you sync up with these universal laws and you no longer buck the current that have been giving you the rough ride, as you sync up with these universal laws, then that zest is within you and you vacillate from calm and satisfied to eager and passionate. That's your world. And that's what you came to live. That's the contrast that you wanted. So we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. There is nothing that is off limits. You will notice a perfect unfolding as we find the perfect conversation with the perfect person at the perfect time to move this conversation into the perfect place. So what do you want to talk about? It's going to be a really, 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 really good day. Or can we say it is being a really, 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 really good day?